Okay, welcome back. Last time we finished off the entire first warp room, and because we went back for all the gems. And now, we are basically going to finish off the second one today. We're going to start with Barret, because we need the secret entrance from another stage to get the gem, uh, to get the other gem in Air Crash. So hopefully I can get through this without too much difficulty. Key term, hopefully. Because, uh, I'll be honest, I do not have a massive amount of confidence, I guess, in my ability to get this done without failing miserably multiple times. Mostly because, honestly, it's just the boxes on the ice, I think. Like, well, there, I missed one, so... Like, I missed one, so gotta die. I need to try again. Okay, so, away we go. Back to the start of the level. I know that I need to hit 36, including the self-exploding TNTs. If I'm at 36 by the time I get knocked off Pula at the end of the level, and then hit the, and then hit the kind of trigger box for all of the Nitros, that is how I know I have this level done. Fantastic. There's 9, 10, and I missed one. Let's just, uh, face plant into that, because obviously, I need all the boxes! I mean, if nothing else, I guess I can... If nothing else, I guess I can use this to show some of Crash's death animations. Maybe I'll manage to, you know, get hit by an orca and... Uh, I mean, I probably won't. Getting hit by the orca is, uh... I feel like getting hit by the orca is something that you usually have to, like, try to do. Because, honestly, they are kind of on a timer, basically. And I feel like getting hit by one is usually a I jumped into it type of deal. But either way, we are now slightly over halfway there. Uh, also, yes, I know Pula does have the kind of like rush jump. Honestly, I'm not doing it mostly for my own convenience and safety. And also, he has a whole bunch of nightmare crates that we have to dodge. So, that is up to 31. That was close. 32. There's 33, so there should be three more before we get knocked off Pula. So there is one, and I missed the, and I missed the remaining two. I'm off to a great start today. Okay, so it's just these. It's like I'm in the final stretch. If nothing else, I'm at the final stretch, so uh, I guess it could be worse. But then again, I guess. It, I mean, if nothing else, this is so much more preferable to how it was in Crash 1. Because, honestly, having to do all of Crash... Oh, that's what happens if you die to an orca. It's just like, uh, how Crash's ghost is now carrying Polo with him. Don't know how. But you know what? Okay. But yeah, basically, I'm very glad that we don't... I'm glad that this game doesn't work on the exact same system that Crash 1 did. Because Crash 1 was just incredibly frustrating about these kinds of things. But hey, that should be this level complete. Okay, so that should be all 48. That is the gem acquired. And with that, we should now be done with the second dwarf room for now, I believe. Because we need to go up into a third one to actually get into the next thing, I believe. Okay, so, with that, now we just, uh, you know, just watch Crash do his little victory dance one more time. Now, we can go up to the third one, because Air Crash requires a secret entrance. Which means, uh, we can now enter Plant Food. And Plant Food is a level where, quite simply, I just have to hit all the boxes. Because we got the yellow gem from last time. And to get the yellow gem... Basically, to get the yellow gem, I quite simply just had to hit all the things. No, to get the yellow gem, I had to beat the level before the time I ran out, sorry. But this time, I just have to hit all the boxes. Which, hopefully, won't be too bad. I say hopefully, because I know my luck. It's probably going to get real bad. But who knows? Anything could happen. So, let's just keep going with this. I will also say, in fact, uh, I think this is the final of these levels. Oh, also, if I just fall into a whirlpool, Aku Aku won't help me. It's basically like... I mean, it's 
basically a waterborne pit, isn't it? Fortunately, we don't seem to be in too much danger from it yet. So let's just dodge that. Yep, that was close. Kill that plant. Hop that, dodge that, kill that plant, and into a bonus level we go. Now, can I get all of these before? Fantastic, I can. Now let's just hop, grab that bonus life. Honestly, I'm not too worried about getting all of the one perf route. Because even though I am, uh, you know, losing a good few... Nope! Because even though I'm losing a good few lives due to my own clown shoes behavior in-game, honestly, it could be worse. Like, I'm not too worried about it. If I was playing Crash Team Racing, I'd definitely be, uh, maybe a little more invested in getting them all. Mostly because in CTR, it's kind of just nice to have all 10 Wumper Fruit that you might need at any given time. Mostly just because, hey, uh, having 10 Wumper Fruit can just give you better items, basically. It's like, oh, your, you think, yeah, stuff just gets more effects and things, which is very welcome. And also, CTR is really good. At some point, CTR is getting a playthrough on the channel. Like, that is, like, locked in 100%, because I love that game so much. Like, genuinely, that is one of my favorite games. It's definitely my favorite kart racer ever. Okay, so, onto the board we go. And now, because we killed... Fantastic. Because we killed all of those plants, we don't need to worry about that anymore. I do need to worry about, you know, doing a sick trick off of this and hitting these boxes. Okay, flip's kind of nice. And we dodge that plant. So we just uh, hop over here, hop over here, do that, and that should be gem secured. And that is plant food complete. Delightful. Fantastic. Okay, so, well, we... We've now finished plant food, which is, you know, very good, very nice. And after this, we're nearly done with the third warp room as well, because I don't think there's anything in the last level. Oh, there is. Okay, well, there's actually a good few things left for me to do here. Okay, into the next level we go. Bear down. So this is another polar level, and I have less confidence in my ability to get this one done without dying, but hey, we'll see how it goes, won't we? And if nothing else... I probably won't die 43 times. Hopefully. I really hope I don't die 43 times trying to get this done. But yeah, obviously this one being the next one along is a little bit harder. Like, it's a little bit harder to get through, but honestly, like, beating the level itself isn't something I'm worried about even in the slightest. Like, hitting all the boxes, that's the, like, that's the challenge. By hitting all the boxes, there's the challenge. Getting through the level, I think, is really easy. I missed one, so I've got to die. I mean, it would have been nice if, the, if that one had, you know, just kind of broken my fall a bit. Because, honestly, I missed one. I missed the same one. So, uh, well, once again, we're going to kind of send ourselves careening off, off the pool ever. I missed it again. Yeah, this is, uh, this one might take a few attempts. Uh, maybe if I try to, like, aim to land between them, that didn't work. Well, if nothing else, when I inevitably fail this next time, I'll get one bonus life back. So, I guess that's something. So, I suppose, little positives. Honestly, I'll give this a couple more attempts, and I'll just kind of... I might just do a little... I might just make a little thing where it's just, like, a flash forward of just, like, just, like, a kind of flash cut of just, like, all the, all these failed attempts. Because I'm at, like, seven now. Like, this is, uh, yeah, this is going really badly. I missed one again. I'm really good at hitting one of these and not the other, and... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting at least a little bit frustrated by this. Because, like, I'm trying my best here, and it's just not happening for me. And, honestly, if these weren't on ice, I think it would be so easy. Like, if these things weren't on ice, it would be so easy. Or even if they were just a tiny bit further apart. Because, like, I can... I really feel like I can only hit one or the other. 
and I'm genuinely starting to get a bit frustrated by this. Fantastic, there we go. Okay, great. Now, hopefully, I can just get through the rest of the level without any hassles. Without any hassles, without any extra deaths. I don't know if that checkpoint is supposed to be there or if the game's feeling bad for me because I died a whole bunch. I genuinely think it might be the game feeling bad for me because I died a whole bunch. Not because of lack of, like, skill in getting through the level, but because I, you know, couldn't hit one box, but, you know, I, I guess we take those. Okay, fantastic. I think I hit that checkpoint. I really hope I did. Okay, there's 36 boxes. Last time that was the magic number. See, that time, though, they, they were far enough apart for me to just easily get them. Now we just, uh... Hop over this nitro, hit this. I think that's for, I want to say that's for last crate. Because now we just get knocked off polar. And now we just uh, set this off, blow up all the nitros. All two of them, apparently. Grab the gem, and now we just do a nice little bit of backwards platforming. My greatest enemy. And do a slide jump. And now we get taken back to the secret wolf room where we get the secret entrance to air crash. One thing that does kind of bug me about this, though, uh, the one, it really, like, why is the one for level 7 in, like, the first slot, and the one for a level, uh, and the one for Snow Go here? Also, I should prob probably know, uh, this warp room, this secret warp room, actually, now that I look at it, I think this is basically just exactly what, like, I'm pretty sure this is the warp room as it appears in Crash 3 Warped. Or at least close to it. I haven't played Crash 3 in a good while, so I might be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure it's about the same. Also, yeah, I could have bonus lives if I kind of bounce on those crates. I do not feel confident enough in my ability to navigate this to do that, so I'm not gonna try. Okay, this whirlpool has a lot of pull to it, though. Because, like, I'm not touching the control ever, and I just, and I just get fully just dragged in. Which, to be fair, is what a whirlpool would do. Okay. No! Ah, I went pretty badly, didn't I? You know what? Just, just, for the, just for fun, let's see if I can get all of these and get back. You know what? That's a net gain. I'll do, I'll take that. Like, I will take that. That is a net gain. Because now I can also just destroy all those, get enough Wumper Fruit to get another life back. So, I'll be honest, I don't know where in Air Crash this will drop me back off at. However, because... Because of the... Uh, I need to hit this one crate. There we go. Now, careful, 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 careful. Careful. Made it. Safe. That was very close. Okay, made it. That does that. 46. And now we just get teleported, and I imagine this will be like... Okay, this is a... Yes, this is at the start of the level, which I guess makes perfect sense, because I would need that, because, you know, I still need to destroy all the boxes. So I guess it would make sense for it to drop me off right before boxes start appearing. Also, fun fact, uh, you can actually go from, like, one... Like, I could have just platform across this and drag myself right back to the secret wolf room to get access to Snow Go again. But, obviously, there's no real point in doing so. Also, now that all the Night Rose are destroyed, I feel a lot safer navigating through the rest of this level. I say that, I will no doubt still hit a C mine and ruin my entire day. Because, uh, well, that's, that's just how, that's just how my games go. But hey, this is going pretty comfortably so far. Because I don't think there's a death route or anything I need to worry about either. So let's just wait for this platform to pop up. Fantastic. Into the bonus stage we go. Because this is a pretty simple bonus stage. I think I've seen it like seven times now. So let's just do that. Now. I overshot the jump. I overshot the jump. Today is really not my day. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this one, and then I'm gonna stop for the day. Like, it's not even late. I don't even have the excuse of being tired or anything. I'm just not playing well. 
Okay. Evo A. Let's just get let's just get through this. Let's, no. Uh, it wasn't exactly a clean arc, but I'll take it, you know? Okay. We got the boxes and that's all that matters, I guess. Okay, so. Now kill that. Destroy that. Now. Cat. I, I knew I I knew I would die to it eventually. I didn't think it would be that bad when it finally happened though. But hey, I don't need to do the bonus level again, if nothing else, so that's kinda handy. You can kill that plant. Careful made it. Fantastic. Now just wait for these platforms to go down and come back up. Yeah, uh, genuinely, I am so sorry for how this episode has played out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I mean, it could have been worse, all things considered. Okay, now. I need to do this, because otherwise I don't get access to all of these. And I got a nice little bonus life. Now the question is, will I need the bonus life? My answer is probably. But also, I need to be, you know, just a, just a little bit careful. Fortunately, I need to be a bit less careful because I don't need to worry about the nitro crates. But obviously, I still don't want to hit any of these mines. And I know there can be one here. I just missed that. That was almost a catastrophe. Okay, that should be the end of this level now, though. There's all, there's 102 boxes destroyed. I think that should be it. Fantastic. We get another gem. As long as I don't... So, fun fact... I'm pretty sure that if you, like, slide past it and just jump over it, you can just completely avoid the jam and just be like, yep, yeah, didn't get it. But obviously, we are now done with Air Crash, and with that, the entire second warp room is complete. So, now, I... I'm so sorry, I accidentally skipped that. That's the only time in the game I've accidentally skipped for it. Okay, so. So now we have Unbearable and Road to Ruin. Road to Ruin requires a... I think it requires a hidden gem path. Yeah, I think it requires a secret area, so I can't do that yet. So we're going to go and do Unbearable, which is a chase level, obviously. So, uh... Basically, in this one, we are now running from bears. And last time I apparently missed like 20 boxes somewhere. And I'll be honest, I have no idea where I missed those 20 boxes. So I need to also figure out where those are. I'm sure that there might just be like a... Actually, no. Maybe there's like a pit that I can jump into without dying or something and they're all down there. But, like, genuinely, I have no idea where that is. Also, we got, like, we got really good distance from that there, and I don't really know how. I say that, and we immediately... <laughs> I say that, at, and immediately now they just die in the next one. I mean, if nothing else, I'm consistent at, like... If nothing else, I have the consistency of being like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good at this, this one bit, and that's like, haha, immediately dies. Okay. Nice, clean. This bear is gone from here. Can I go over here? Because this bit isn't broken. You know what? I just gotta check that. I'm gonna try it. Huh. Apparently I can. That... Is that a cannon or a man? That's, that's just a man with a gun. Okay. No more safari for you, buddy. Uh, I... Can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there anymore. Yeah, I think I need to, like, platform off that guy. Or just platform backwards. That also works. Okay. That guy. Time for that guy to perish. <laughs> now, we just bounce... Now, oh, I see. That's gonna be a bit of a pain, actually. And I messed that up. Fortunately, I can just platform back to here. Because now, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to dodge that turtle and the guy with the gun to be... Yeah, I'm gonna have to dodge the turtle and the guy with the gun at the same time. That seems, uh, that seems a little tricky, but let's see what we can do. Honestly, genuinely, uh... <laughs> Like, I, ha I remembered there was a kind of pit that I could fall into, but to be totally honest, I kind of just forgot where it was. Like, I wasn't sure which one it was. Also, now that I have Aku Aku, I feel a lot more confident about getting this done. Mostly because, well, I just have a safety net that is guaranteed to just take a hit for me, so, uh, you know, that's uh, one way to solve the issue. <laughs> like, hey, I now have a damage safety thing, so, uh, you know, I have a little bit of free damage control. Man, this guy is really far away. And perish. Got him. Okay, so how do I do this? Slide there. That's an up box. Okay, now we get the Aku Aku for safety. We jump over here for that. Destroy that. Okay. Okay, there's a Night Rook, right? Okay, to me, like, yes, I did I did see the Night Rook, right? I just wasn't concerned about it until, you know, it, it, <laughs> I wasn't concerned about it until it exploded and killed me. Okay, so, nothing else, I'm up to 45 lives. Oh. Okay, that's... That's a little goofy, but okay. I should have jumped again. I should have jumped and not tried to crouch. Okay. But I'm learning. That's what that's what matters. We're, we are learning. And also, you know, I'm not a I'm not do, I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't need to like know all this stuff. Okay, let's just I'm this guy's for the range this man is shooting at, he is he is on some pretty rapid fire. I can tell you that for free. Like, he is really going for it. I remember when I was doing the Insane Trilogy, I think it might have actually been this bit that gave me a lot of trouble. It was either this bit or another one that's very similar. I remember having a lot of trouble with them, so uh, it may well be this one bit. So uh, let's hopefully get through without too much hassle here. Okay, that's... That's safe if nothing. Never mind. Okay, I at least see the guy. Like, I've at least now seen the guy, and honestly, I can probably just get to him and kill him. That shouldn't be too bad. Now that I, I don't know, I feel like once I get vision on an enemy, it's a lot easier. To, like, and I think once I get vision on like where an enemy is, it's a lot easier for me to kind of suss out how easily I can get to them. You know. Because, you know, if, like, if, like, if, if they are in, like, if they are in range to, no, 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 no. I got that at the worst possible time. Genuinely, I think one of my least favorite things that Crash does is, like, the little jump he does when he, like, when he, when he won't die to a hit. Huh, apparently I can, wait, I can break that armor? That's kind of interesting, actually. I did not know I could break that armor. Okay. But yeah, this guy is, you know, this guy is killing me an awful lot for someone who is in, like, uh, Crash Bandicoot range. I don't know what I'm on about. Okay. Careful. Spin. Jump. Spin. Jump. Jump. Dash. Okay, I landed on that turtle's head and then died to the saw blade immediately. Also, I think I've died to this bit like seven times now. I'm starting to get frustrated by it. Not gonna lie. Although, then again, I'm also at, Although, I think I'm also now at a point where, like, if I die, like, one or two more times, it'll just give me an Aku Aku for free. And if I get that, I'm basically getting this done for free. So we just hop that, destroy that, jump the bullet again. Wait, jump the bullet. Just... Okay, there we go. Perish. <laughs> okay. 
now. Okay, we got another Aku Aku. Okay, so slide, jump. I can, I can, I'll just run through that. Sometimes you just need to run through the hit, you know? And I just... Okay, that destroys the rest of that. So, now the question is, can I hit all the boxes... Now the question is, will I manage to hit all of the other boxes on my way down? And through the rest of the stage? I really hope so, because if I don't, it's going to be pretty embarrassing. Also, realistically, what I should have done is hit the crate to destroy all the night rows first. Because that would have, uh, you know, saved me a little bit of potentially risky platforming, but honestly, it won't be too bad regardless, hopefully. Let's just hop back across here, slide, jump, get a nice little arc jump again, grab a bonus life, and get on out of here. Okay, so, let's destroy that. That's 40 boxes. 41, 42, 43. Okay, back to the pool, there we go. I'm not dying to this bit again. When I first came through here, I died to that one jump like four times, and honestly, I, and honestly, I kind of just committed it to memory because I didn't want that to happen again. Okay, that was close. Slide. Now. Slide. Fantastic. Okay, now, now we have the bit where we actually just ride on Pula, which obviously uh, is a fast section. Unfortunately, the, I don't I don't know if this giant pool over there has an actual name, but hopefully, but that should do it for me. So uh, hopefully we can get through without too much hassle. And there we go, that should be all 56 boxes. So let's quickly run forward here, grab the. I missed two boxes apparently somewhere. So I will have to come back again at a later time, because I just missed two boxes that I didn't see. Or I guess I can try again right now, because I didn't do the jump properly, because I'm bad at video games. Okay, let's try pool as a section again. Because apparently there's some boxes that I missed. And I don't know where they are, so... Uh, so hopefully they aren't too far out of the way. Okay, that was really bad. Okay. This time, for certain. I mean, if nothing else, it's very on-brand that I managed to... Like, if nothing else, it is exceptionally on-brand for me to manage to do something and then immediately, be like, need to go back and not be able to do it again. If nothing else, I'm consistent at being able to, I guess, form a level of being able to do that. Yeah, I must have missed two somewhere. So, I will have to come back to this level again, but for now, I will just uh, backtrack to here and get another safe, well, another secret exit to the stage. And this will now put us out at another new level. Well, a new level. Like, a completely new level. So what I'm actually going to do instead is end off to, is actually save and end off today's episode here because I actually forgot to save last time. So let's save to so uh, let's save the game and end off today's episode here. And next time we'll be starting off with I guess a properly like actually secret stage. It's before I go back and try to do stuff again. Okay, so I'm gonna end off today's episode here. Sorry about you know half of the episode just being me failing at one or two jumps repeatedly. But, as always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined, and I will hopefully see you all next time, where I will be continuing on with Crash Bandicoot 2. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.